They are the stuff of nightmares. They dwell in filth and feed on decay. But maggots might also be the next thing your doctor pulls out of his medicine bag. Maggots are the larva of another creature with an image problem, the fly. In nature, flies lay their eggs in rotting flesh, so the maggot hatchlings won't have to stray far to find food. This taste for dead flesh is what makes maggots taboo. But it also makes them perfect for use in medicine. Here in Wichita, Kansas, at the Wesley Medical Center's Midwest Center for Wound Healing, a new patient has come to try maggot therapy for the very first time. Cindy Kennedy suffers from diabetes. Four months ago, she had an abscess taken from her abdomen that left a gaping wound. Conventional procedures are causing her so much pain that she can't cope. But if the wound is left untreated, infection might spread throughout her body and she could die. The solution? To place hundreds of live maggots into the wound. The secret lies in their eating habits. These maggots eat only dead flesh and leave healthy tissue alone. Dr. Terence McDonald has been prescribing maggot therapy for four years. The maggots are a kind of a cleaning device uh, for these wounds. Not only do they remove the dead tissue, which uh, removes a food source for the bacteria, then their saliva has uh, antibacterial effects. But to Cindy, the thought of maggots feasting on her body doesn't necessarily sound appetizing. I'm like, God, that is gross, you know? But they say it really gets the job done, so I'm willing to try anything. The two millimeter long larvae are specially bred for use at wound care facilities. These maggots are newly hatched and they're famished. If they can clean up the green and black decaying flesh, they might save Cindy from having it surgically removed. Before the day is done, she'll have as many as 700 maggots placed in her wound. For 48 hours, the hungry maggots will feed on her diseased flesh. And when they finished feasting, they'll grow to five times their original size. Two days later, Cindy returns to the clinic to see if the maggots have cleaned out her wound. A lot of these areas are really a lot, lot cleaner. The tissue that I can see in there is all pink. It's improved quite a lot. But for Cindy, even a medical miracle is not enough to overcome her taboo for creepy, crawly creatures. Yeah, it's scary, especially if you have a fear of bugs. They was only doing their job. I mean, I can understand that, and I appreciate that. But I'm glad it's over with. If maggots can overcome their taboo reputation, these creatures of death may keep eating their way to saving lives.